You will never guess where I am today. We have an exciting shopping video that I have had in my plans, in my head, for some time now. And I've been looking forward to getting over here and filming this. And we're here at Epcot. One of the things that Epcot is known for is food. They're also known for entertainment. But I think not enough love is given to all of the unique cultural stores within each country at World Showcase here at Epcot. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go through a couple of countries today. We're gonna split up the video cause you know, four hour videos can be really long. <laughs> so we are gonna have kind of a series. I'm going to go through a couple countries today then next week, you'll see the next video in the series Well, we'll head through a few more countries and we'll wind up over the next couple weeks seeing in depth the shopping and the videos relating to all the stores within the World Showcase and the great merchandise that they have for each country. So with that, we got to get started. As I was mentioning, guys, I am here in Epcot's World Showcase right outside of China. And I am looking forward to today. I don't get a lot of time personally to go into some of the stores and spend a good lengthy amount of time shopping and looking at all of the really fun cultural merchandise that is available in each of these locations. I think honestly, and maybe you guys can put it in the chat and maybe you guys can put it in the in the comments down below is most people when they come to epcot they are really excited about all the food which is delicious don't get me wrong and lots of entertainment lots of rides it's a windy day today <laughs> hopefully that works pretty out uh, well for my microphone too but here at the China Pavilion is one of those examples of a country where, you know, people come in, they have great food, uh, you know, they have the video that you can watch reflections of China. But I don't think it's on a lot of guests' mind to spend tons of time looking in the shops and all of the fun items that they have brought into Epcot here. So that was an idea I had, why I wanted to do it as a video versus a live stream so it could kind of take my time, hold things up, and really have a good time with you guys. Sometimes on the live stream, we get a little overwhelmed. You know, there's so much going on. There's so many people, places, things. And a video allows me to kind of take my time through the shops. Let's just start out here in the House of Good Fortune. As soon as you come in, authentic clothing here. This one's $48. I like that with the dragon on front. <laughs> you know, even these hats here, I bet Adam would like for sure. And you know what? There's just, as I was kind of mentioning, there's really not a lot of people like that come back here. And some of it has really pretty clothing options that you might be interested, in, but not everybody, kind of a, a cover up here. This is kind of unique as far as women's clothing is concerned. I'm not sure how much this piece is. Be interested to see. I would definitely, this is see-through. So you would, you'd want to wear something with that for sure. And I don't see a, oh, there's a tag down below. I'll take a look. This one is $30. Not too bad, not too bad. To me, I think that this hat has more of a Southwestern theme in the United States. I wouldn't have envisioned this in this shop or this hat up here, but I do think this purse is really cute. $45.95, I like the little rabbit touch on there. 
you know, I should put my sunglasses <laughs> in my pocket. This is really cute little purse. And a little pocket on the back. You know, you may not want to put a credit card necessarily, but there's other cards or things that you may want to put in there for easy access to that. And that's not a bad price for that. Really, oh, look at, see, they have a couple different designs from that company as well. This one's also $35. Some traditional attire, and you can see it on the mannequin there. It's probably easier to see it. <laughs> oh, look at That is so cute. Lucky cat blind bag over here. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks so fun. This would be fun to come in here on a live stream. I don't know I'd want to do it on a video. I'd want to do it on the live stream and come in here and get one of the blind bags and see what cats we get. Here, so this is Lucky Cat for $10.95. I know Adam and I have always joked around about getting one of these. We think that they're so fun. Here are more blind boxes that you can get princess blind box this is kind of fun uh, ballet girl so that'd be kind of fun to get if you uh, as a gift you know you're not really sure which one in 1895 these are really nice they aren't glass uh, and they look like they're a little hardy so if you had a, a child you know, I'm not saying like a two, like Harper probably would not be ideal for that, but still, I think a, a young child would be hardy enough for them. And of course, the bamboo. Oh, I love Lucky Bamboo. This would be so fun. And I would love to say that I would love to keep it, but I, I've mentioned it on the stream a couple times. I'm absolutely awful with plants. I'm a terrible plant keeper. <laughs> oh, here's more princess blind boxes. That must be really popular having a lot of that. I mean, we see that here in the United States. Those are super cute little animals. See, they got them up here, what you could get. I think that's really fun. And here are it's the year of the rabbit, so they have the appropriate, which would be a shot glass, $9.95. Uh, but these assorted blind box characters are $19.95, like the ones on the front. Yeah, as I was mentioning, maybe I just don't know enough. These, I didn't realize that they were popular, is to have more of a Southwestern hat look here but there's quite a lot of them I can see as we walk around so we'll head through here they have a, a whole wall of really beautiful jewelry that I can see this is more costume jewelry you know at $108 that's definitely not real but more costume type jewelry but still very very pretty I mean, I could see there's some special events where obviously I wouldn't want, I couldn't never afford to have anything really elaborate, but these are nice pieces that you might want. Oh, you know, they're kind of go with a nice evening attire. <laughs> and this one's only $38. That's surprising. It's a whole wall of jewelry right here. I know I'm gonna end up having to take Erin in here. I know she would really enjoy this. And you know what, for the price tag, I can, I, can, I can take care of that. I can afford that. That is much cheaper than much of the typical Disney jewelry that you see. Here's some nice bowls. I would consider these um, uh, like jewelry holders. You know, like I keep them in certain places around the house where I'll put in uh, jewelry that I want 
to keep safe or that's kind of my spot for it. And they do have different prices on them. So this one's down below that I kind of grabbed underneath the you know, jewelry dish, maybe that's what I'm kind of trying to say. $21.95. And these down here have different animals associated with them. Hmm. These are nice too. Here, we'll head over to the. <laughs> Some of these stores are so large, you don't realize it till you're in here. You know, when you're walking on the main walkways, here's fans, $14.95. Here, we'll see what this one looks like here. This is worth it. And then I like this one too. I think that would be nice on a hot day. <laughs> Look at silky satin pillowcase for $18.95. I like some of this stuff. <laughs> some beauty items here. Here, we'll kind of step over off to the side and some of the clothing. Oh, look at that cat shirt. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, here. These shoes are great. If you need a pair of shoes, honestly, you know, now I'm going to remember this shop. These are $21 and these are are rubber sold on the bottom. These actually, they're pretty padded. I would imagine these are actually probably pretty comfortable. So I'm, I'm not joking. I know, go ahead and put your laughing emojis in the stream or in the, <laughs> in the comment section, in the chat, because uh, I'm gonna remember this store because I know there's going to be kids and they're gonna be my own kids who have lost their shoes in some way, something happened. And $21 to me is not bad. These are comfy and they're actually really nice looking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mem remember that for sure. <laughs> Look, they even have a clearance section here. So even here in the House of Good Fortune store, they have a clearance section. Wow, look at this one. <laughs> $78. Oh, look, they even have rugs. They have a rug. You know, I don't want to look, I can't like pull them out or anything, but. Rugs and some, some purses here. Honestly, um, $28 here on this one. I love these dresses too. You know, there's some of them are so beautiful with the embroidery on them. Here. We'll move on down. Lots of men's attire too. Don't worry. And even these, you know, $26.95. <laughs> these are almost like swim shorts. I was trying to see. Oh, you know what? Oh my, yep. This is my kids probably. I'm sure there's plenty of kids who ask, you know, do they have nunchucks? Well, they do. And these are, uh, don't worry, they're foam. And they are $12.95. Yes, I'm sure you could bop somebody pretty good, but they are, like I said, foam. And you can even get matching shield to go with it. Here's this one. Oh yeah, we, this is the same one that I just saw here. Let me see if I can find the price on the back of it. Okay, so that's $10.95. And then the helmet as well. Look at that. Bamboo hats for $21.95. <laughs> oh, oh. Here. 
Oh, children's books. Mina's first day of school. I like that. Oh, huh. I need some for Harper. Here, meditation balls used to improve blood circulation, joints, memory, and sleep. Stress relief. Well, I know a few people who could use these. Oh, you know, look really fun designs too. Look at this one has a dragon on it. So these are $12.95. And you can get different colors of them as well, if you wish. Oh, uh, these are like essential oils. I'm not promising that these are, oh, these are $5 each, right up there. And still, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, this is so cute. I like these. You know, all these are, you know, incense and uh, candles right here in this section. But still, I mean, some of the, oh, here, guys, I'm sure this is what you've all been waiting for, the $5,000 sword. That's five, okay, wait, wait. This one right here that we're gonna look at, 5,800 on the right, 7,800 with the gold. <laughs> this sword, here, I'm gonna have to, to back up here. This sword can be yours for only, oh here, and it says it right on the bottom, 7,800. Oh. There's sets of swords as well. Here, look, so it says right here, all decorative sword, letter opener, and dagger purchases must be shipped to your home, and there's a shipping fee. You know, most of their shipping fees are actually pretty reasonable. There, there you go. Actual nunchucks there. <laughs> but yeah, plenty of knives and I, I don't know letter openers here. Some of this stuff is just so unique and that's what intrigues me about it. I really like this lamp here, this table lamp. Here's a deer. This one's $96.95. Oh, like a little night light. I like that. The cap. Oh, Aaron. Oh, and fountains. Here, let me move this down just a little bit so we can see. This one's $52. We'll take a look at all these. I really enjoy. I remember when those were super popular and lots of people had water fountains in your home. And they kind of just faded away. I don't know, maybe, do you guys have like fountains in your home? But I remember a time when fountains were super popular. Oh, I wonder, I bet they have bonsai trees around here too. I'm gonna take a look. Oh, this one's really pretty as a lamp. $96.95. Oh, and the wind chimes too. I'm just kind of super impressed sometimes with some of these stores. You know, you are at Disney, and when you go into some of the stores at Disney, they can be pretty expensive on things. But generally, here in some of these stores, around the world showcase pertaining to the countries. They have some really neat merchandise that is reasonable. So some of these are like specialty items, like this one's $88, but it's filled with all these gemstones here. Oh, this one's really, you know what? This is really pretty. A lot of people here in Florida have lots of things related to sea turtles especially because we're so close to the coast and um, 
that would be really pretty, especially when here in Florida, you know, they decorate their homes that are kind of a seaside theme. Okay, we'll head on around here. There's just so much. I didn't even hardly get through everything. Man, maybe I underestimated. <laughs> $25.95 here for the elephant. Here, the elephant is a symbol of good luck and happiness. In feng shui, elephants can also symbolize good luck, wisdom, protection, and fertility depending on the position they're depicted in. An elephant with its trunk raised up represents good luck, while fertility is symbolized when the trunk is down. Two elephants sitting at entrances provide protection. Oh, huh. You know, some of that I just don't, you know, I didn't know some of all of that. Here we go. This is one of the entrances to the store here. Oh, here. As soon as you come in as well, that's where you can get your book stamped, your little passport stamp for the kids' cot stuff. Oh, the dragon, a symbol of power, strength, and good luck. Yeah, lots of dragon stuff in here, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is what a lot of people like. Here's more sea turtles. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at the cute little turtle. It is a symbol of knowledge perseverance, prosperity, and long life. Well, I like that. I should have, I do have quite a few turtle stuff at home, mainly because I just enjoy it, but I think it fits me. It suits me. Look, you can even get chopsticks in here, 1995, and there's different designs for them too. <laughs> here, look at this. Look at all the chips. Maybe I should bring some home for Adam. I didn't expect that. This one's draft beer flavor chip. Interesting. Look at this. Peach beer flavored chips. I didn't even know that there was beer flavored chips at all. Like that that, that was even an option. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Roasted cumin lamb skewer flavor. And then Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Oh my gosh. It just says assorted chips here. I'm not sure what that, and this is spicy crayfish flavor. Wow. Okay. Uh, interesting. Let's come around here. Now I'm, now I'm really intrigued. Oh, some of these we saw already. Let's see here, potato, oh, potato twist. <laughs> here, I was hoping to see like what this one was. That's definitely spicy of some sort. I, oh, well that looks questionable. That looks very questionable. I, see these are a little bit on the pricier side to have 550 for one small bag. Oh, these are fun, these are delicious. The Hello Panda. I've had these before and they are really delicious. These are 395 Hello Panda biscuits with chocolate. And there's strawberry flavor as well. Oh, here we go. Mixed mochi. The big bag of them, the different flavors here. Some, that's what maybe we should do too. Maybe just do a video of just food from around the world showcase. Like as in the snack foods that you can buy. Not necessarily the food from the pavilions or you know the restaurants. These are $5.95 and $8.95. See, I think these are a little bit expensive if you ask me. Mini Q, mini mochi. These are $5.95, this strawberry flavor. 
Okay. Because that would be fun, I think, to try some of these out and just get a bunch of them. This one's Oreo birthday. Fruit jelly. Oh, these are like marshmallows for sure. Oh, these are cute. These are $4.95. And then they have more marshmallows here. So quite a few of them. Wow. I like this. <laughs> That's like pop rocks, I bet. Well, this is interesting. Fruit jelly drink. This is, you know what? I should take note of this too. If Harper ever forgets her go-go squeezes, um, I know this isn't perfect, but off. this is probably a good alternative because she likes them so much. And so if I'm ever here, that's not an ideal price tag, but you know. Oh, I like the tea sets as well. I really like the tea sets, $48. And there's different designs, lots and lots of them. And lots of sake sets as well. They're all about, 20, it looks like $24 for those sets. Quite a few dishes that you can purchase here. Oh, these are pretty. This is a really pretty design, honestly. But it's kind of the only one they have. Oh, look at the children's set. Oh my gosh. Harper would be so cute with her little panda children's set. How much is this? Okay, $36.95. Cup, plate, bowl, spoon. Oh. That is cute for sure. Oh, here we go. Plenty of red panda there and avocados. Oh, now we're, <laughs> now we're honestly where I probably shouldn't be. All the plushies that they have. This one's $21.95, super cute. This is, Oh look, they even have pets. They have outfits for your pets. Oh, look at that. They have a example of one right here. That is adorable. I won't, uh, I won't go too into detail in the, the plushies. Cause I think, <laughs> I think plushies are pretty easy to find in a lot of places. And this is a pretty common brand too. All for one, one for all panda. <laughs> and then they have little shirts too. I like this shirt. Oh, here, we'll come in through here. Looks like they have uh, some testing, taste testing over there. Must be sake. And that's kind of the end of this shop here, but you can just see, oh, some of this is the same. Uh, we looked at the bamboo over there and some of the turtles. Let's take a look at what they've got over here to sell as far as drinks. Look at alcohol, plum wine, Buddha beer, and then they just have soft drinks as well that you can get. Okay. Well, time's a ticking. And we should head over into Norway to go take a look at their shop. I'm gonna come back in there. I'm absolutely gonna come back into that store and show some of that to Adam and Harper. And I think Aaron would like some of that as well. I would give that a recommend. Worth your time to go into that store, for sure. And out here, <laughs> bubble tea time up there. Uh, so just some merchandise relating to bubble tea. But some of the same chips that we were all looking at in here, you can get right up here 
as well and the drinks without having to go all the way in. Oh my guys, looks like it might get a little bit of rain here. We will head over into Norway. I'll quick, just a, a quick stop over here at these umbrellas. A lot of people enjoy those. I know we've stopped over here, the Good Fortune Gifts, before on the live stream, just because they're on the path of what everybody sees when they walk by. Everybody likes the umbrellas. You see those around a lot. And you'll also see a lot of people buying those puppets as well. <laughs> the kids like to play with those. Here, you can even get your bamboo hat without walking in the main store. So the large puppets here are $52. So cute. And then the small puppets are $22.95. <laughs> So they have a, quite a few of the umbrellas as well. So these are $18.95. And there is some panda here. I saw there's a dragon. Here, I'll come right over here. A unicorn. <laughs> a peacock, that's cute actually. I like that. Oh, a rabbit. Oh, these are really adorable. And they have more of the chips in here if you'd like them. Here are some of the parasols. These are $24.95. And you can kind of see them up here. Huh. Okay, let's head into Norway. Now, although the Norway shop is pretty big, it's, it's not quite as extensive as that one we just went in in China. And even Mexico has a lot of stuff in there as well. So we'll head on through. It is a beautiful day, regardless of these clouds that I'm seeing come in behind me. I hope you guys are having a great day too. I hope you like this format a little bit. Every now and again, I do enjoy being able to just kind of walk and film and chat with you guys. So then that way I have a little bit more opportunity to walk and talk and show things and I don't feel so much like I'm gonna run into anybody while I am watching the chat and Harper and everybody else. <laughs> so to all of you guys watching on the live premiere, hello. I know that Adam and I will be there on that chat. And then if you are watching on the replay, good to see you. Here, we'll come right into here, the Fiorde. Um, Adam? loves everything about this store. Uh, these are gear nests. We'll have to look at this. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm going to end up asking Adam to buy me that. Um, so Adam is obsessed with, we'll get into the main store, but with the Heli Hansen products. Um, but <laughs> I do like some of the scents that are in here. And you'd be surprised how much, if you enjoy uh, fragrances, each of the pavilions here at Epcot, they do have some good options. Like, well, of course, France does, but Norway here. Adam has a really funny story about this Gearness fragrance line. So he was here with a friend of his. Oh, that sounds interesting. And some cleanser. Hmm. He was here with a friend of his and just kind of entertaining and, and walking around Epcot. And he came in here and, you know, he's kind of looking at all the stuff. And, and Adam loves the store to begin with. And sure enough, uh, this gentleman kind of came up to them and said hello. And they're like, oh, hey. And they started chatting and he was here. So he does come to the store. We have now ever since that time where it's kind of laughable, they didn't realize it was him talking to them. 
Uh, we now have seen signage about when he's here. Um, but this is nice. I like. I just. I'm kind of. I'm kind of sniffing it myself. Here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to twist my my arm a little bit. But it smells really, really good. Um, I'm not sure if Adam's watching, but that would be a really nice gift for Christmas or birthday. I was trying to look at the the prices on these. Let's see here. Here. Yeah, do you have a price list on some of these so fragrances? The small is 68, the large is 89. It's the same person. Oh, 68 yes. and then 89. Correct. 68, 89, and same thing, 68, 89. Yes. Okay. And the lotion is 50. 50. Okay. I like the snow. <laughs> Thank you. also have the bags. This is a oh. bag. You get the large perfume and the uh, lotion. Oh, so if you get the bag, it comes with this in there. Mm -hmm. Oh. You save $20 when you get the bag. The bags are nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you. Have a good day. Okay, well now you know, guys. Um, but yes, now I know how much it is. So as I was saying here, Adam loves these, uh, this line. So these are pretty expensive jackets and apparel, the Helly Hansen. Uh, this one's $160 for this jacket. But I have to say, you know, like I love this sweatshirt. Like I really, really love it. This is really kind of up my alley. Um, you know, zip up. It's kind of in the design that I enjoy as well. And this one is more than I would spend, $110. Uh, but it is, for me, I we don't wear winter coats. Even when it gets to be kind of cool in January, Here's the back, you can see has a, you know, it has a hood, but it's not super large or obtrusive. So I really enjoy that sweatshirt. Um, those types of sweatshirts that are a little bit heavier and more coat-like, that's what I, I like to wear in, in January when it, we can have some cooler evenings where it's maybe 40 degrees out or so, you know, with some jeans. Okay, I'm gonna, there's a, Big family over there, kind of looking at stuff because of the kids caught. So I'll skip, unfortunately, some of the uh, the troll type merchandise that they have. But they still have the iconic photo that you can take right there. Hats, all. I think I have one of these hats, actually. Um, so this one's not bad. Let's see here, $40. You can get winter hats cheaper in many places. Um, look at how nicely made that is in the inside. Um, I have one from Europe from when I was over there and I needed a hat. So I kind of just kind of kept that. But let me come through here. Oh here, see this is, see Adam likes this kind of stuff too. It's really nice. It's kind of got a, I wouldn't say that it's moisture wicking, but it feels light enough that it probably would be resistant. And then there's a lot of sweatshirts. Again, kind of jackets for kids as well that are available, even if it's raining out. They might be nice. So I recommend if you're looking for something nicer and it's raining and you want that kind of apparel, Norway here, Helly Hansen, has good deals. Uh, I wouldn't call it a deal, but they have good products that kind of stand up. Oh, lots of the Epcot Norway merchandise here. This is a cute shirt. This one, it's $29.99. Here, you got some fun cups. Okay, this one's $29.99 as well. Let me try to pop over here. Ah, here's some chocolate. And see, they have some of their chocolate and snacks that you can get here as well. Okay. 
here. I love the ears. $34.99, those are really pretty. Those are really pretty, and see it says Norway on the side. So all sorts of stuff that they logo to apparel here. <laughs> Shirt, an apron as well. Here, look, so crackers. See, this store is always much busier because the frozen ride exits through here. So there's a lot of frozen merchandise over here. Maybe we'll just take a quick walk through. A lot of this is in the main stores. This is so cute. The Frozen 2 Castle playset. Oh, wow. I, you know, and I've been holding off. I think Harper would like these little dolls, but they have some little pieces. Um, you can find these pretty much at any Disney gift shop. These are the, the magnets. You know, he's, he's got his little hands here. He's cute. These are $14.99. Oh, and let's look here. The frozen dresses as well. I think they're so adorable. <laughs> look at this. This is actually, if you are uh, wanting to buy this for someone, and I bet this is on Shop Disney. It's $59.99. And as adorable as it is, it actually is pretty thick. I'm, you know, I'm slightly impressed. This might be nice um, for Harper. This is a weighted plush. Uh, so it's two and a half pounds. So these are pretty heavy. Although they're cute, you know, they're weighted. So that might be hard for little ones if they see that. I know Harper that like she just couldn't get one of those weighted plushes but they are adorable. Okay, lots of the frozen dresses in here. I'll come back this way, step aside with all the families and kids <laughs> getting stuff. Oh, I can, I can head over by the candy here real quick. Look at this. It's almost that time. Winter beverage blog. And this one's Christmas soda. See, I think that's what we should do. I think we should do a world showcase, just a snack stream and beverage. Here's some little cookies, ligandberries. You know, if you have an Ikea near you, I'm sure you have bought some of that. Um, so this is $3.95 for the soda and $17.99 looks like non-alcoholic that answers my question so that's kind of nice you know if you want something festive this might be nice to have for your friends and family that just says heat and serve i like that oh these are delicious i love stroop waffles and then plenty of chocolate milk chocolate with chopped hazelnuts Oh, you know, it's making me hungry. This is all making me very, very hungry. Oh, love all of it. Let me see if I can get back over here. Now, I've seen a few people clear out. See here, see here's a big winter jacket. As much as Adam, I know, would love this, he would never wear it. And this one is $320. Now, if you live in some place where, you know, you use a winter jacket, these are really good quality. They're very thick. They're very warm. Uh, I have worn them before. You know, I've tried them on and stuff. But, oh, these are, let's see here. I don't see a price tag on the sandals. Uh, oh, that's okay. Here, we'll come around here. Okay, I can, we can make our last stop over here. And so to me, kind of knowing where to, um, <laughs> where to get some things if you are in the parks and you're looking for a few things, like I said, the, the shoes. 
you never know when you need a pair of shoes. And believe me, things happen. These are cute too. They're ears. These are cute. Original troll warranty handmade. These are kind of nice, especially if you have a Norwegian family or you collect anything like that. Here. Lots of them. There's a t-shirt here for $34.99. Here, let me check. Yeah, and it says this is not a toy. I don't see a price on this particular guy right here, but really cute. And one thing we missed too, you know, over in China, we did point out these are foam as well. So if you are looking for foam pieces, <laughs> armor, this is $14.99. You can get a shield here just like you could in China. And don't worry, they have plenty of foam swords as well. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, that is probably one of our favorite stores in the World Showcase. I, I think whenever Adam has the chance, you know, not so much in the live streams, but when we're just here, he loves to stop in there and go into this bakery right here because they have fantastic food. But this is not about food today. We're gonna to take a look at all the wonderful merchandise. And I think we found some really unique items that you, know, you wouldn't always find at home, which are really fun to get here at Walt Disney World at Epcot. So we will head into Mexico see a few things that they have, see what they've got going on. And again, we're only doing a couple countries today, but I am hoping to make this a series because I'd like to get through each of the stores within the World Showcase. Each pavilion has some excellent merchandise that sometimes gets overlooked. So stay tuned. This is kind of just the first of a couple in this Epcot World Showcase series, shopping series. Look at them. They're always so great. Don't worry, don't worry. There's lots of live streams where we get to a lot of this other stuff too. Today I have to, you know, buy Mexico Donald's. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Harper would be so sad to know that I took her to go see, or I went past Donald and she was not here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that little girl's not, her mom was not happy. I hear you, mom. <laughs> Let's head into Mexico. Remember me when you need to go shopping at Walt Disney World. We'll head on in. Okay. So it is really busy usually in here. So I'll try to talk right into the microphone so hopefully we can take a look at stuff, see everything nicely. They, although it's not a big space, they do have a lot of merchandise packed into just this one general area. Here down here is the kids' cot, where when the kids go to each countries and they participate in that, that's right down here underneath this. It's not a stairwell, it's more a ramp, but you know what I mean. Let's take a look in here. You know what? We look in the middle section a lot. Let's come off to the left into some of these shops. Take a look. A lot of cocoa. It's getting to that time of year too. And here, 
Look at lots of people have been coming to get him. This is the shoulder plush that he attaches and he adheres to with a magnet. And this is a hot item. I'm not saying that they run out, but lots of people love this. Lots of people buy them. And look at, they gave it a little Disney name tag. That's, that was taped on, just so you guys know. But here. But, you know, so here, these are really popular, the shoulder plushes. You can get them right in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I need these for November 1st. These are fun. And this lounge fly must be fairly new. Because um, I've seen other lounge flies associated. This is $78. Oh, that's kind of cute. Coco, do it yourself friendship bracelet. You know, you wouldn't think you would come to Walt Disney World for things like that. But I can tell you, honestly, sometimes my kids have just needed something to do on the plane or some downtime in the parks. And those have been kind of helpful when I vacation to find, you know, something like activity like that. Here, if you want your own acoustic Coco guitar, right there, you can come out with that. And don't forget, any of this can be shipped to your home. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry or think, oh no, I, this, is not, this is not something I can take on the plane. Don't worry. And they have affordable shipping rates. You know, it's usually around, um, sometimes I had uh, one of those huge big pumpkins that are, you know, two and a half feet tall, shipped for only $9.95. So they are very, very affordable. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I love this new tank top. This one's $39.99. Oh, see, here's more of the spirit animals, the shoulder plushes. These are really cute. These are cute. Oh, I didn't know that they had mini dolls. Wow, that's really neat. Wow. That's very beautiful. And then they have a matching mug with it as well. This whole collection is really, really cute. <laughs> Even with the pillows here. So I'll take a look. Here, I'm trying to find a, a price tag on these. Well, no price tag on the pillows. And you know what I say about that? <laughs> Must be expensive. So this blanket's $59.99. These, they're nicer blankets that are here at Walt Disney World are always so expensive. And, I mean, honestly, it's not like I bought a lot of blankets. I, we always end up getting a lot of blankets for uh, Christmas for some reason. We're gonna come to the glass shop right here. This is uh, Arebus Brothers. Hi, Prince, don't drink so long in the line. Oh, oh. So there's a couple of places where you can see them. Hello. Where you can see them do the glass blowing and you can get some of this. <gasps> Look, that is adorable. <gasps> Look at Sorcerer Mickey back there. So I'm sorry, friends. Some of that I don't want to reach back there and touch for obvious reasons. Oh, look at these. These are beautiful. And don't worry, you can have the extremely large one for only $6.99, as in $699. Wow. These crystal pieces are beautiful. Oh. I like the stitch. Or even the Dumbos right there. Those are beautiful. Yeah, look. Yeah, they do a great job. It's something that you should check out, whether you're in Magic Kingdom on Main Street. They also have Disney Springs. Uh, but here 
at Epcot is gorgeous as well. And look at that. Wow, look at that. Look at her. That's fascinating. I wonder what she's making. Huh. Okay, we could stand here all day. We'll come back on another day and just do maybe some more filming of that. Um, but the glass blowers that they have here at Walt Disney World are phenomenal. These are 115. Oh my goodness. Look at that Jiminy Cricket. Oh, wow. Look at this guy here. Just a sleeping dragon. I'm really honestly in love with the Sorcerer Mickey stuff that they have over there. These are really nice. Huh. And they have some pieces that are actually, you know, made in Mexico here. Necklaces here. Here. We're just looking at fans in China, but here in Mexico, they have some in the glass store here. Rebus Brothers. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> Oh, here, down below. Look at these. These are small, very small, but these are painted. Oh, and pretty much any character you could want. Each of the little ones here are $59. That just takes so much skill to do that. And if you have a princess in your life, or you'd like a princess crown of your own. There are many to choose from. I've never bought one, but Aaron has begged me many, many times. And here, they're not too bad. They're not too bad as far as pricing. Here, we'll come out the front. <laughs> well, I hope that so far I haven't bored you too much with all of the shopping and merchandise. Look at that. These are, I think all the colors that you see in so much of the Mexico merchandise and look at the hidden kind of designs in there. Look at. Eleven ninety-five. That's beautiful. You know, so these are these are great pieces. This is eight only eight ninety-five. You know, great pieces of merchandise. And yes, you can get your typical Mexico and Mickey pins, or maybe um, you know, nineteen ninety-nine for the ornament that they have. Here's some mystery pin collections here with Coco and Coco's Disney 100 pin as well. I was saying the other day, guys, this is the jacket that I did want that I really, really liked here. Now I can show it a little bit better here. This is really up my alley. It's uh, like almost like a Nike dry fit. And this is what I wear at home. Honestly, guys, when you don't see me streaming and I'm at home, a lot of times I've got some of these like uh, quarter zip up shirts on and I'm working or doing whatever in the house. This one's $64.99. It is a little expensive, but if you compare that to uh, some of the Nike items that are kind of like that it's around the same price i'm not saying that it's great i'm just saying this is a cute tank top too it's hard to just a ladies tank top there and a men's hat as well look at this
and no trip to Mexico is complete without your own sombrero. Look at that. <laughs> that is quite elaborate. And you would be surprised uh, at the number of people that you tend to see wearing the sombreros when you walk around the World Showcase. More than you'd expect. Oh, this is cute. A kid's shirt. Those are cute. So this one was $21.99. This one's $26.99. These have similar designs like we were looking at like the fish on the other side. You know, spoon holders for your kitchen or maybe your bathroom here. Toothbrush holder. Lots of this. Oh, here we go. Here's some more fun stuff. These are fun. Oh, here we go. That's a cute sign as well. That is $59.99. And if you'd like the margarita glasses, they got you covered here. Look. You can get your own sets. $16.95, made in Mexico. These are actually kind of fun. I actually kind of like them. Right here. Here we go. These are just shot glasses. So, a bunch of different designs. And then, although you can buy these here, I don't know why you would, because I guess if you wanted one that bad, you know, but uh, it is $16.99. They've got it upside down there. <laughs> and at a lot of registers, guys, you can buy the sunscreen or the cooling towels. So you can just take a look. Oh, look at a Pepper's gift set. Oh, wow. This is $36.95. So do you know somebody who likes hot sauces? Look at that. Ghost pepper, jalapeno, and habanero. I imagine that is quite intense. For sure. That's a fun gift set. I like that a lot. Oh, my. Uh, that looks like that's too spicy for my taste. They have Mexican chocolate as well. Here's almond chocolate. This is $6.95 for these chocolate bars. And then as you turn around, kind of the last booth here is just blankets here. Lots of kids you see walk out with these hand drums. Kind of fun. <laughs> Your kids will love you. I don't know if you'll love you after you buy that, but <laughs> you know, they have a good time with them. Some different fans as well that you can get. This one's $9.99, but I think if I was gonna get a fan, I don't know that I'd get this one, maybe the folding fan. Seems more enjoyable to me. That's just my opinion. A different style shirt here. This. Oh, here, a little purse. That's cute. I don't think that I've seen this design over here. Maybe I just missed it. Uh, this one is $29.99 for this. And nice hat as well. This one's $24.99, so not bad for this hat. Okay, and yes, more the cheaper sombreros. These are $23.99. So don't forget, no, no trip to Mexico is complete without your sombrero. Well, we will head out here. Gonna take a, a walk outside. So I am going to wrap up this video by telling you that this is not the only shopping around the world showcase that I'm planning to do. I am hoping 
to do more videos and go around the world showcase so that we can talk all about the great things that are in each country and what you can find when you're here, including all those fun snacks and chocolates, that kind of thing. And I think maybe I have to pitch a, a country's snack stream to everybody uh, and maybe add them at some point. So let me come around. So we were able to, <laughs> here we go. So we were definitely able to get around to China, Norway, and here at Mexico. My next video in the series, I'm hoping to start over at Germany and make my way around towards America and so on. And we'll keep going through till we get through everything here at the World Showcase. I hope you had a great time shopping with me today. I hope you enjoy the videos generally and would love to see more. So hopefully we can get all this shopping done at Epcot. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'd love for you to put in some comments, whether you're watching the live chat right now or after the video's over, please go ahead and put your comments down on the video. I would love to hear them. And hopefully this helps you for all of the options that you have to decide when you come on your next trip. With that, I hope that you guys had a great week and see you real soon.